yes, kids, we're probably going to end up getting copyrighted today because we're following a bisexual's dream today. Woo! And I'm not sorry. And honestly, the best part of today's look is guess who does not have to glue down her eyebrows today? Freedom. This is one of the few times that my brushy eyebrows actually come into a great play. Thank you, Madonna, for showing part boy and showing hair. <laughs> So the thing about being bisexual growing up and not knowing that you were bisexual growing up is that when you first saw Madonna, not only did you want to be Madonna, but for some odd reason, you also want to do other things to Madonna as well. And it's not until like, like later on when you grow up to where, you know, you just kind of accept it that, the, that there's like the fact of, oh, I guess I like women now. Well, the only other reason I'm talking about this is basic to the fact of listening to Madonna and Boy George all day kind of starts bringing out what queer is in you. I don't know if y'all noticed yet, I am nowhere near a straight spaghetti noodle. Honest question, how do like some of y'all within the 80s go ahead and do like this makeup when it comes to just blending and all out? Because this has got to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. You have to, like, just smudge it on there? Is that... What was your skills? Teach me. Or, I mean, not teach me. I don't know yet. Also, I know some of y'all don't really give two rips if I go ahead and talk about my sexuality or about, you know, coming out or some other things. Some of y'all were just like, Emma, we just wanted you to make some more crazy videos of makeup, of you ranting. Or whatever. Whatever reason that you're watching for this. Understand as a bisexual woman who's in a hetero uh, relationship, I have to go ahead and defend myself all the time, I guess. There is a thing called by erasure and everything like that. So I don't like being quiet about it. And I am very proud of who I am as well. And you know what? If I'm going to go ahead and do a look that combines two very... Uh, queer icons that kind of put forward for a lot of people like myself to go ahead and express themselves nowadays, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Just saying. But I hope you like the makeup. <laughs> also, the other reason why I'm pretty adamant about being out, being bi, and some other things nowadays, more so than I was a couple years ago, is because I was bullied and made fun of for being bi when I first came out. Or when I was trying to discover if I was. So, I try to go ahead and speak out about it and some other things. Mainly because of the fact of that I know others are suffering the same. And I want you to know that it will get better. And that it's going to be okay. Basically that. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the fun stuff. Enough of the serious stuff. Let's go back to being an 80s kind of icon. <laughs> All right, we're only half done, ladies and gents. Mm-hmm. Because you gotta, when you do one icon, you gotta make sure you do another one. All right. So confession. I didn't know that much about Boy George growing up. Well, I just didn't listen to his music as much, mainly because I already had an obsession with Adam Lambert and David Bowie at the times when it came to like you know queer figures. And stuff and there's a whole other list but I was a little bit too obsessed with David Bowie at the time to go ahead and consider anyone else within my genre do you really wanna hurt me do you really wanna make me cry I was also far too obsessed with Queen at the time but then again who is not obsessed with Queen come on okay explain to me why the boy George makeup is going on easier than Madonna. You know what? The whole idea of the 80s of just like, let's just put makeup on and see what sticks. I kind of like that idea because then if you make mistakes, it's like Bob Rocks. They're just happy little treats. They're happy little birds. It doesn't matter. It's all art. <laughs> Watch these lips turn out better than 
lips that I do when I'm trying to be in drag. Just watch it happen. Is it bad that a part of me kind of wants to just do lips like this every day? I mean, I feel like it would work out well. It would, I'd, I mean, I'm all for her. How about y'all? Let's do it. Let's just go over big lips. Let's just like, you know, because guys like plump lips. So let's just go out there. Oh, but the neck is going to be fun to take off. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Am I an 80s icon yet? Please say yes. I'm going to the end for you. To make you feel my love. Yeah, I mean, he had some banging ba like ballads. Still does, but woo! Pull out your heartstrings, boy George. Yes. Pretty sure I'm feeling myself more with the Boy George look because I don't understand why this looks so much smoother than this side. I don't know what I did different. How upset would my bosses be if I walked in the first day looking like this? You know how Madonna did her blush really didn't turn out that bad. Just go big and go home when it comes with the eyes. <laughs> and this is the point where I, I don't know what I do. What do I do after this? Do I go cook dinner after this? I feel like I should. I'm gonna go do that. I'm just gonna go cook dinner. Have a good day.